Good morning. As you rise today, my prayer for you today is that the very first thing on your mind this morning is your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you can come into His presence first and and really begin to thank Him for the gift of another day, thank Him for just waking you up this morning and all the blessings that you have, uh, then the rest of the day kind of comes into focus. A lot of times you can't stop some of the things that happen in your life. Uh, You can't uh, make them go away by wishing them away. But you can learn the steps to overcoming some of the things that are in our lives. And if we're honest this morning, sometimes we stay too long in a situation when God has already given us the tools and the ability to be able to overcome those things. Today what we're going to look at is that if we're going to get through some of these things that that come against us in life, we have to really understand that a lot of times we can't do it alone and that we're not alone in this uh, struggle or this journey that we go through in life. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17 is a verse that we've used a lot in our men's group and our men's time in prayer. And it says but basically this, that iron sharpens iron, and so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Sometimes we are very guilty, especially those people who are prone to help other people all the time. You consider yourself a helper. Uh, you're the one who comes through and, and tries to help everyone through their own particular situations. A lot of times we're guilty of not uh, wanting help for ourselves or not allowing somebody else to sow into our life to help us overcome situations. But Paul writes in Romans chapter 12, and he really encourages us to, to beware of that when he says to not think of ourselves more highly than we ought to think. Now, a lot of times we, we read that and we say, well, we shouldn't get puffed up and think we're better than anybody else. And that's exactly what it means. But it also means we don't need to get to a place where we think we don't need help, that we are just here to help somebody else. Everybody in life needs help sometime. So if you're going to overcome your situations, if you're going to be that type of person that just uh, is, is a, lives a life in focus, being able to overcome the obstacles in your life, there are some things you're going to be able to pray through, you're going to be able to read your scripture through, and you're going to be able to get through. But there are also some things that you will be able to get through only when God sends you somebody to help. And when that person comes into your life and offers that help, offers that ability to share or to to help carry that burden, don't despise that. And don't have so much pride and ego that you reject the very help that you just asked God for. So I speak that blessing over you today. And I ask that as you get up this morning, as you begin to walk through this life and, and through the journey that God has given you, if there is an obstacle you've got to overcome, if there is some some burden that you have on your life and you've been praying about that, Perhaps it's this devotion. Perhaps someone will knock on your door. Maybe it'll be somebody at work or at school. But wherever it is, somebody's going to come to help you today. And when they come, you need to recognize that as a divine appointment, that God has answered your prayer and sent somebody to help sharpen your life. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then... You be safe, you be strong, and you always be blessed. And be that person that knows today, first of all, what you're worth to God. Second of all, you are never alone, and you don't have to go through this alone, because God's about to send you some help. Have a great day, and may God bless you.